All right, everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, American lock. It's a 5200 series. It's a pretty new lock, but it has been modified. It is pinned up for six pins. The bidding on the key is pretty radical. It uh, makes it a fairly tough pick. It does work really smoothly. There we go. We're all locked up now. I want to start out by trying my modified Sparrows pick here. Come on, baby, focus. There we go. So I'm just going to try to nudge each pin a little bit on my way to the back, see if I get any clicks. I'll get some clicks off of five. I got a click off of six. I'm just moving my way back up front. Getting a couple of clicks off of two here, it feels like. I want to actually stick to a deeper uh, pick here. See if I can get around pin one because I don't want to overset that one. Sounded like something just dropped when I hit uh, pin four. hit pin four again. I just got to click off a uh, pin two. I got another click off a of two. Got another click off a of two. And I got a little bit of a false set just as I brushed against three. Got more of a false set just as I brushed against four. Every once in a while, I just want to spring that wrench. I don't want to have it picked and not realize it. Get a little counter rotation there, and I think I have an open. That was off of pin four. All right, so what are we at? Two and a half minutes, uh, three minutes? Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So, uh, right yeah there we go this flathead does all sorts of different uh, sizes of pillows here I do have an anti-bypass wafer in there so we're going to get past that one too easily nothing unusual up inside lock it up. I've got the key. Sometimes these clips are harder to get off than picking the lock. There we go. Got that pick or clip. It's got my tweezers, my makeshift follower. Let's go ahead and turn that like that. Okay, let's see what we've got for the key pins here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now pin one and two fell out, but pin one's a standard and pin two is a standard.
Pin 3 is a serrated. Pin 4 is a serrated. Pin 5 is a standard. And pin 6 is a serrated. Let's look at the core here. I've got threading on three, four, and six, which coincides with my uh, serrated uh, key pins. Okay, let's go ahead and zoom back out here a little bit. Let's go ahead and look upstairs. I've got a tall spool. Come on, focus. I've got a serrated spool. Three. I've got another uh, serrated spool, factory serrated spool. This thing just does not want to focus today. Next one is a serrated. Pin five is uh, another serrated spool. And six is a serrated. Just a uh, factory serrated. Let's go ahead and dump these springs out. I'm pretty sure they're all standard springs. I don't know where that came from. That's just a little wafer pin. And that was behind the strong spring here. And then I just shot that spring across the room with my uh, tweezers. But uh, that would have made some stronger spring tension in one of these chambers. I assume it was probably uh, three since it was serrated. Uh, let's look here and see what we've got that's uh, serrated in the uh, Bible. Okay. Looks like two, four, and six are threaded, real sharp threads. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, American Lock uh, 5200. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Don't pick any locks that aren't your own. And as always, thanks for watching.